Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Scorpios. This reading is for you if you have Scorpio Ascendant, Sun, Moon, or South Node. And I hope this message finds you well. Scorpios, even with a different configuration of card decks, the ancestor advice that is coming through for you regarding the year is aligned with the message that came through for you in the stars and cards in the Jupiter and Aries astrology and oracle reading for the year ahead. I've linked it down below for you to check out. So, I mean, in general, your houses of identity, relationships, health, and work have been experiencing eclipses and powerful shakeups thanks to Uranus and now Jupiter in Aries, right? This transit. And it's all been orchestrating divine detours and even disasters to push you on a journey of a new normal in every aspect of your life and a new sense of identity shaped by roles you have dropped or been dropped from, roles and relationships you're urged to drop or that ended, in addition to new identities, roles, new core relationships, and career opportunities you're forming related to maybe children, teaching, healing, and holistic being, not a holistic lifestyle. And there is an important distinction there because a holistic lifestyle can hinge on ego attachments and senses of self-worth related to these roles and actions, past and present, whereas holistic being is about a core existence of spiritual oneness and sovereignty that just exists, undisturbed by any roles, relationships, or external validation, but that also enables empowered, sweet flow and success related to you fulfilling your tasks and desires related to any quote-unquote roles, right? And there are major cards here that indicate this is the balance and the sort of growth edge of ego death you are being called to lean into this year right sovereignty and spiritual oneness for flow and a sort of new beginning and we have that represented here by a few different cards right we have the existence card here that is followed by essentially the king of wands and the uh, knight of wands in reverse right and then also the mystical shaman in reverse and then even this next card here that shows you know someone meditating as well sort of overlooking the distance undisturbed by let's say gossip and drama on one side and you know was looking towards what it means to let go gracefully right and in general we have the empress and the eight of sticks here representing um, who your loving ancestors or spiritual guides may be coming through in this reading. And it indicates there's a great feminine ancestor that you had a deep relationship with, such as a mother or even a grandmother, mother nature herself, or in general, the great divine mother herself coming through in this reading and that you are aware of and will know right based on your own deep spiritual connection we see here um in these cards right in the big queen card right in this deck which represents the empress it is you know a great divine feminine elder who is also holding uh, a child who's also holding all of these sort of like spiritual tools. And then in this Eight of Sticks card, which is also the Eight of Wands, right? It shows someone who is 
kind of looking at the wreckages of a tree that was damaged, perhaps by fire or lightning, or where maybe even someone attempted to build a sort of tree house, right? And there's this person who is just kind of like connecting to the essence of the tree, maybe sending healing and good wishes to the tree, right? Or also maybe even finding their own healing, connecting with the healing energy of the tree, right? And in general, it's like, there is a message that your loving ancestors have been sending you wisdom, insights, messages in nature and animals and even synchronicities like feathers and more, right? For you to accept any disruptions and embrace this time of perhaps continuing to process sadness, fatigue, and even, you know, lean into emotional decompression from ending a sort of major chapter in your life where perhaps secrets were revealed and brought maybe even blindsiding and disappointing changes in career and key relationships that you were deeply invested in and that had sort of a long history. But there is a message that everything, even seeming failures and losses, and for some of you, I'm getting that there could have been miscarriage losses or job and relationship losses, But in general, right, there is a message that everything in terms of these seeming failures and losses have happened and will continue to happen this year. There is at least one more um, eclipse, a set of eclipses that are happening in the Taurus and the Scorpio nodes, right? And so I'm getting, you know, that these sort of disruptions will continue to happen this year in addition to even surprising pregnancies and opportunities to force you to make necessary healthy changes in your networks and to prioritize and deeply connect with yourself generally and prioritize your ability to be in quiet, in meditation, in nature, in holistic health areas of work and in oneness, right? In oneness, right, where you're able to contemplate existence and just feel oneness, right, deep periods of recharge in general are perhaps required this year as you let go a former version of yourself, right, and even habits of unhealthy attachment and overgiving, and even doing others' emotional work for them, There's a saying, right, about not letting people pull you into their drama and to instead pull them into your peace. I'm getting that this is your advice for 2023 in general. But it also may be that you're even urged to rethink some aspects of that, maybe not even do that, right? And to actually heed flags and be aware of anyone you meet or know who actually tries to pull you into their drama, right? And I think in general, right, it's like Scorpios, you have such a sort of deep um, emotional intensity and also even emotional capacity to hold space for darkness, for, you know, um, dark emotions, for lower based emotions, and to try to help be a part of some sort of positive transformation in some way, right? But I'm getting that this, you know, one of the things that came through in that Jupiter and Aries reading for you is that this is a time and a chapter for you to actually sort of pull back and to develop a more healthy balance related to those kinds of dynamics, right? Um, For some of you, you're desiring to become an empty nester. And that was one thing that came through in that Jupiter and Aries reading. um, And that kind of pairs with the sort of symbology and the images for the existence card and even the dislike of others card, (laughs) where we also have let go gracefully, right? And, you know, it's 
yeah, we have the Three of Cups in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and then the Devil. It's like there's so much here about um, releasing toxicity and reframing any sort of difficult experiences that you may be having where you're sort of um, experiencing sort of like irritations, aggravations in relationships, and ultimately even endings, right? And these endings just being caused by a number of things where ultimately you're going to be able to see the bigger picture, look ahead, and see how there was some toxicity there and or that your continued relationship to these certain relationships or dynamics um, in friendships, in, you know, colleague networks, and uh, maybe even in terms of the roles that you've taken on in your family, that there was some sort of unhealthy dynamic that was being kept alive that ultimately doesn't serve your necessary evolution and growth right now right and so there's some relinquishing and some maybe some grief and releasing guilt and you know looking ahead that sort of needs to happen for you and I want to read for you what the mystical shaman card means um, especially when it is upright versus when it is reversed. And it is showing up here as reversed for you, right? And it says, you know, this is the symbol of the myth maker and storyteller who is neither made of nor defined by the story. Instead, he observes it, evolves through it, perceives all aspects of it. And in doing so, the mystical shaman represents the ability to dream a new story, a new myth into being. He dances between worlds, wearing the cloak of the world loosely around his shoulders and sings the world into being. And he reminds us to be in the world and travel through it, but to not be defined by it or become too attached to the experience, right? And... When this card appears, you are called to create and dream your life and to act on inspiration and divine impulse without fixating on a known story of success or achievement. It says, can you impartially observe the stories you tell yourself and others? What if you could become a mystery to yourself? Who would you become if you stopped telling the tales that have defined you up until now? And it says, you do not have to live in the story that has roots in the past. And wow, this also really sort of corresponds with, you know, this Eight of Sticks card where there is quite literally this figure who is, you know, connecting with this tree in a sense, making peace and being urged to know to not live in a story that has roots in the past. Right. So. In reverse, which is how it shows up here, it says, be careful what you pray for. You know, this card cautions you against relentless attachment to a certain form that you think will make you happy, prosperous, famous, loved, etc. And it says, however, in seeing your dream come into being, had you considered what you were willing to sacrifice for it? Perhaps you have been telling yourself a certain story for so long. The story that only when you reach this partic this particular goal will you be happy that you will arrive. That you didn't even notice you're no longer the person who wanted those outcomes. You may have moved beyond those stories. And I'm truly getting that the medicine for you, you know, this year is to move beyond those stories. And it says to admit to yourself that you need to imagine a new story more in alignment with who you have become. And it says this is just one moment in millions of moments in the continuum of a life. Let it go. Let it be just a story. Let it be just a phase. And move on. 
better tales are waiting to be told. Okay, and then in terms of the the dislike of others, I'm going to read that card for you too, because it says, sometimes we form strongly negative feelings towards others, and in truth, it is not them that we dislike, but their words, actions, and behavior. This card, <laughs> like the mystical shaman card, asks you to try to detach from the experience of their behavior and see them as a soul on their own unique pathway, attempting to manage their own challenging life lessons. And then it says, let go gracefully. And this card says, something in your life is calling for you to let it go. And it says, let go gracefully. Whatever has taken place in the past, it is time to move forward and letting go will make way for the new. Whether this is a person, a situation, an outdated thought or behavior pattern, this card comes to assure you that new horizons are waiting for you, which, which all of these cards symbolize which is great which is beautiful in terms of the cards for advice and magic making for 2023 we have the mystic star card which says harmony and home and great friendships and then it says air it says work with the element of air which we also see symbolized by the king of swords showing up here in your advice to cut through to the core of a situation and see the truth yes so scorpios we are going to round out this reading with an angel number message i also channel um angel numbers that are always specific and sometimes random right but they're related and this angel number 411 came through related to your reading and it came out at the top of the reading before going through and doing the rest of the channeling with the cards okay so I save it for last so that it can come through as a sort of wrap up and also just beautiful confirmation that your loving ancestors and spiritual guides are here and speaking and helping to support you. Okay, so angel number 411 is a message to engage in creative projects and pursuits and concentrate and focus upon your spirituality and serving your divine life purpose. Stay away from negative situations and keep a positive attitude and outlook in regards to your life and destiny. Oh my, hold on. Because this is so... um synchronistic of course and spot on i'm gonna read the gossip and drama card just just in case there's some additional messages there that are pertinent okay so it says talking behind people's backs is one of the greatest producers of negative energy with the potential to affect not only individuals but entire communities make a choice not to involve yourself in this this card also asks that if you are unable to find anything positive to say then please consider saying nothing. All right, and then I'm going to pick back up with the with the 411 angel message here and it says it is a message to keep your thoughts positive and optimistic, right? Um as you undertake an important new role or venture, your positive energies, intentions and actions will manifest your expected results. Trust your angels and ancestors to deliver all that you will need. This number encourages progressive change, renewal, and growth, and tells you to share your knowledge and wisdom with others. It also tells you that all that you put your efforts towards will reap rewards in the future. Expect some well-earned rewards for good work well done. Your angels want you to know that you deserve the very best. And you know what? That certainly corresponds with the seven of pentacles and the emperor being in reverse here. When those cards come out in reverse, especially with, excuse me, the devil card here, it's like that's related to sort of a sort of 
feeling that perhaps all of your hard work and all of your efforts towards some big grand goal has been for nothing and that it was wasted. And this is saying absolutely it was not wasted, but ultimately some incredible changes had to happen to make way for better well-earned rewards for your good work well done okay so this number encourages you to keep striving ahead and don't take no for an answer expect miraculous answers and solutions to appear as you need them and to ask the angels for vital information that you may need to know right now that is certainly certainly depicted in the cards with this existence card this dislike of others card and even this eight of sticks and the king of swords right it all just ties together really beautifully so dear scorpios i hope that this was helpful it certainly corresponds with that jupiter and aries reading for you but there are certain details that are in that video that are not represented in this one so definitely check it out and like this video and subscribe to this channel for more as we continue this journey and take good care of yourselves i wish you a 2023 that is filled with an ever deepening spiritual growth and sense of self-love and empowerment and prosperity take care